In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify fractions using greatest common factor. So for number one, I have 3 sixths. And when you're finding the greatest common factor to simplify, you can use either the F method or the Euclidean algorithm division method, whichever one you think is easier. So for each one, I'm going to show you using a separate method. So for number one, I'm going to show you using the Fs. So I'm going to draw my Fs. And I'm going to use my numerator is 3, and my denominator is 6. So based on the previous two videos, my F method, I know I need to start with 1 and do 1 times 3. 2 doesn't work, so if I went to 3, it would just repeat it so I can stop. So then I'm going to go to 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Go to 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And then I can go up to 3, but I already have a 3, so I'm going to stop again. So the common factors are 1 and 3. And looking at the common, the greatest one is my 3. So I know my greatest common factor is 3. Now using that greatest common factor, I'm going to go back to my fraction. And I'm going to divide both my numerator and my denominator by that greatest common factor. So I like the F method because you can go back and see which factors match up. So for my numerator, 3 divided by 3, I know is going to be 1. And 6 divided by 3, I know is going to be 2. So 3 6 simplified is 1 half. Now if I look at number 2, I have 27 over 33. And this way I'm going to show you using the Euclidean algorithm, or the dividing method. So I know my... Big number is 33, that's going to be my dividend, and my 27 is smaller, so that is my divisor. So 27 times something is going to give me close to 33. And I like the dividing method better when you have the bigger numbers because it gives you a more accurate answer. You don't miss many factors. So 27 times 1 is closest. 1 times 27 is 27. I subtract 6, 2 minus 2 is 0. All right, so I have a remainder of 6, and 27 is my divisor, so I need to continue. Okay, so 27 divided by 6. 6 times, I know 4 is going to give me 24, which is close. So 4 times 6 is 24. If I subtract, I get 3, and I need to keep going because I have a remainder. I'm going to use 6 and 3. So 6, my paper keeps moving, divided by 3. And I have 3 times 2 is 6 with a remainder of 0. So here I know that my greatest common factor is my divisor right here of 3. So my GCF is 3. So using my GCF again, I'm going to come back to my numerator and my denominator and I'm going to divide it by 3. So 27 divided by 3 is 9, or 9 times 3 is 27. And 33 divided by 3 is 11, or 11 times 3 is 33. So I know that 27 over 33 can be simplified to 9 over 11. So in this video, I showed you how to simplify fractions using greatest common factors.